हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर इप्शिता बंसल फ्रॉम बी पी एस वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी सोनीपत हरियाणा टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मॉड्यूल आउटसोर्सिंग ऑफ द पेपर स्ट्रैटेजिक ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट आफ्टर स्टडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द नीड ऑफ एच आर आउटसोर्सिंग reasons for hr outsourcing and pros and cons of hr outsourcing today organizations find it difficult as well as challenging to be cost efficient and providing quality services simultaneously the concept of human resource outsourcing came into existence as organizations are looking elsewhere for their day to day solutions the concept of hro is becoming popular with the passage of time in hr outsourcing focus is given on outsourcing day to day hr related functions to an outsider vendor it is a process of rebuilding of hr processes or functions to be carried out by third parties and is considered a very powerful trend in shaping the future of hr managers hr outsourcing is the outsourcing of peripheral but necessary administrative tasks such as payroll benefits education and training recruiting personnel and administration to realize economies of scale and achieve standardization of services rapidly changing market dynamics and global competitive pressures have caused organizations to spend more time focusing on their core business human resource is a very important department in an organization companies are realizing the importance of hiring training and retaining their employees therefore tremendous importance is needed to be given to hr portfolio Let's examine a definition of human resource outsourcing. A comprehensive definition of outsourcing is provided by Rodriguez and Robina in 2006 who defined outsourcing as a strategic decision that entails the external contracting of determined non-strategic activities or business processes necessary for the manufacture of goods. or the provision of services by means of agreements or contracts with higher capability firms to undertake those activities or business processes with the aim of improving competitive advantage so we can say that human resource outsourcing occurs when a business instructs an external supplier to take responsibility and risk for hr functions and perform these tasks for the business payroll outsourcing is commonly outsourced for two reasons first it is a time consuming administrative task for employers and there may there are many specialist companies with the technology and knowledge to run it more efficiently and compliantly human resource outsourcing is a momentous strategic hr initiative it helps organization to focus on internal resources towards doing what they do best and simultaneously helps to control the bottom lines hr is an essential partner in developing and executing organizational strategy it is evident hr is something that is really critical to an organization's functioning hrm responsibilities include all the related functions that work towards employee well-being in the organization including payroll benefits hiring firing and keeping up to date with state and union tax laws some businesses will outsource their entire hr department while others will just outsource time consuming administrative tasks 
which allow their internal resource to focus on the strategic level. Human capital activities include training and development, employee assistance while recruiting involves staffing functions. The focus here is on administrative HR services including payroll processing, benefit administration, employee verification, staffing, training and workforce management. Human resource outsourcing helps in boosting organizational performance with many strategic benefits like eliminating the redundant non-core HR functions, increasing cost competitiveness, effectiveness and helps in maintaining strategic HR focus. Adler in 2009 suggested that one should carefully analyze the need of outsourcing and also try to answer the questions as given below before taking a decision of HR outsourcing. So these questions are what will be the net gain or loss in efficiency and cost effectiveness of using outsourcing? What will be the net gain or loss in performance quality of using outsourcing? What will be the net effect on the strength, versatility and resourcefulness? What dependence on a third party will be created by outsourcing and how vulnerable would be the organizations becoming? The most common outsourced HR services are not limited to easily recognizable recruiting. In fact, a wide range of services are offered. Common services of outsourcing that can be engaged are background screening of applicants, risk management, temporary staffing, employee assistance or counseling, healthcare benefits, retirement planning, performance management and drug testing. Here we see the HR outsourcing percentages across various countries as the data has been reported in 2002. In Sweden, percentage is 92% which is the highest, Czech Republic 86%, Poland 78%, Netherlands 77%, Finland 77%, UK 71%, Turkey 32%, Greece 49% and Italy 49%. The most common tasks which companies outsource include things like payroll processing, attendance, time record keeping and the filing of and paying of business taxes. However, while these duties used to comprise the majority of the task of an HR department, this is no longer true. Today, HR departments have many more duties to handle. And as these duties have grown, so has the size of standard HR department grown. This means, of course, that the cost of human resources has grown over the years as the departments have been given more and more tasks. The concept of human resource outsourcing is growing popular with each passing day. However, there are disadvantages to this concept too, along with numerous advantages, says the experts. Human resource is now the golden career option. Companies are realizing the importance of hiring, training and retaining their employees. Therefore, giving tremendous importance to the HR portfolio. HR outsourcing has been picking up in a big way too. Teams of highly experienced professionals provide clients with customized HR solutions, which range from short-term based solutions to an ongoing HR relationship with the client. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to HR consultancy. The advantages of HR outsourcing are of different types because different types of HR functions 
can be outsourced. Payroll outsourcing help freeing up HR and finance people from doing operational work and to instead focus on high-end work. Let's now discuss the benefits of outsourcing functions. Benefits of outsourcing functions are to gain access to vendor technology, to avoid the cost of major investments in technology, to make up for the lack of in-house talent or expertise, to save money or reduce operating costs, to gain access to vendor talent or expertise, to streamline HR functions, to control legal risk and improve compliance, to offer services the organization could not otherwise provide, to reduce the number of HR staff and related staff expenses, to provide consistent improved service delivery, to allow HR staff to focus more on strategy, to make up for a reduction in HR staff and to improve metrics and measurement. Let's now understand some of the challenges of outsourcing HR functions. Lack of proper outsourcing experience in general poses an important challenge. Another is resistance from employees in general. Fears that customer service to employees might be affected. Fears that outsourcing might impact company culture. Fears about loss of control. Fears about loss of HR jobs and its staff. Next is resistance within HR department. Inability to understand what to look for in vendors. To locate the right vendors is a very important challenge. Existing vendors might not be qualified, resistance within senior management, and lacking skills of identifying the right vendors. Thus, we can say that HR outsourcing can help in structural reduction of HRM cost base by identifying the non-value adding activities and eliminate the hidden HR operations cost. It can help in identify the inefficient HR administration processes and practices. It can help organizations to focus on human resource performance. It can help organizations to serve their employees better. Let's now discuss the types of HR outsourcing agencies. Broadly, they can be of three types. First, Human Resource Organization, HRO. Second, Professional Employer Organization, PEO. And third, Administrative Services Organization, ASO. Let's now understand them in detail. Human Resource Organization. The significance of these HROs is more with the companies which have more number of employees usually more than 1000 employees. These HROs thus are able to offer to large companies in terms of giving them a choice of service they would like to be outsourced. This is a system called shared HR services in which only some functions are dealt by an HRO. A co-management relationship or shared HR relationship is made between it and the business. This is typically the conservative approach to those first outsourcing HR. There are chances when a big company is outsourcing all the functions of HR to the HROs. In this situation, the HRO takes the full responsibility. This is a common practice. In today's times, that big or important or the roles with strategic nature remains as internal option whereas most of the administrative and tactical roles are outsourced. Professional Employer Organization A professional employer organization handles all HR tasks and is usually more beneficial for small and medium-sized businesses under 
200 employees. When a business outsources HR to a professional employer organization, they enter a co-employment relationship in which the PEO becomes the employer of record. This practice is also known in the past as employee leasing or staff leasing from a government and legal standpoint. This type of HR outsourcing involves the PEO sharing responsibility for the employees. Using a PEO for HR outsourcing has a number of added bonuses. First, because a professional employer organization is an umbrella for a much larger group of employees than a small or mid-sized businesses, they may receive tax rate at a much lower rate than an individual business. Also because the PEO is the employer of record, financial liability for the organization decreases due to the shared burden. Outside of outsourcing HR, PEOs also will often provide workers' compensation, insurance, outsourced payroll, performance management, recruiting and background screening, and other various employment administrative tasks depending on the needs of the business that hires them. Administrative Services Organization The third HR outsourcing scenario is an ASO or Administrative Services Organization. ASOs outsource HR differently than the first two types of organizations because they focus mostly on the administrative side of HR and there exists no co-employment relationship between an ASO and the business that hires the ASO. This flavor of outsourcing is typically viewed in organizations having 200 to 1000 employees. Models of human resource outsourcing services. There are two types of models that are followed by human resource outsourcing service organization. In one model, these companies go with all or nothing approach in which either they handle end-to-end -end HR functions of the organization or they are not interested in dealing with that organization at all. The other model is a la carte model in which companies give flexibility to their consumers in terms of selecting the service as what can be outsourced. In this model, the organization is free to select a type of service which is required by them. So students, let's now summarize what we have understood in this module. Human resources outsourcing and the related issues were dealt in great detail in this module. There are many factors that influence the decision of outsourcing. Benefits and challenges both are involved with HR outsourcing. It is the final call of the management of the company that takes the decision that whether companies could outsource some HR functions or total HR functions to an outside company. There are many firms which are either new or not having sufficient resources that they go for HR outsourcing as they find this a viable solution. This is a solution that is accepted by many companies in today's times. Companies generally keep strategic roles internal and rest of the work is outsourced to an outside organization. Thank you.